Hi guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot, and I'm here to bring you a postcard from Spirit for March 2020-23. Oh my gosh, hard to believe we're saying that already. So take what you feel resonates for you. This is a general message. Take it as it feels, like I said, if it doesn't feel like it's for you, disregard it. Don't make it about you. Go about your day. And know that no matter what messages come through, it's still up to you and your active free will, the choices you make, the steps you take and the actions you put forward in this world, right? How you go after your fulfillment, my friends, this is a power to do that lies at the tips of your fingers and the soles of your feet, so use that power wisely. For all my subscribers as well, I love, 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 love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here. You guys do mean the world to me, honestly. And for some of you, like when you leave the comments and I've seen that you've been with me for a while, I really, again, I just wanna say thank you because that also means a lot, um, you know, that, there are you guys, you know, that you, you know, we vibe in your right tribe, and I may not even, um, you know, you know we, we don't know each other, right? I think that's pretty cool, globally, how we are connected, and how we kind of, like, on the same way things. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is just take a moment to call in Spirit. I'm going to call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, my team of light. And any of your spirit guides that would be here for the highest good of the entire collective, I ask them to join us, to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself this reading, and any of you who would ask for it, as well as to use me as the clearest channel possible, delivering messages that are for the most far reaching, but only for the top notch, top shelf, highest good of all of our being at this time. So I'm going to ask them again um, just to send out prayers and love and healing to everybody who needs it right now. If you guys, before I get into this, want to take just a few minutes, um, if there's somebody, if we want to engage in kind of like active prayer, and prayer works whether we can call it like positive manifestations of energy, but if there are anybody in your thoughts that you would like to send out some healing time, let's take a few minutes now and just think of them, and we're going to imagine that their names are kind of floating into this Kind of, I keep seeing like a cauldron or pot, um, something like you could see them doing maple syrup on, but like bringing those names in and just sending our positive vibes to them, sending love, sending so much um, support and joy into their worlds, as well as just, you know, for those of us who are struggling right now, you know, I just want to say as well, if you need to reach out and seek help, this is the time, you know, just talk to a friend, someone that you love and you trust, and they can be small steps if you really, really need to talk to somebody, okay? So Spirit wants me to say it's never too late. So I am just going to, it's an interesting vibe we got going on because I tried to record something that didn't work, and there are two messages. So let's see here. I have the Manifestation Moonology Oracle. And I'm going to get a little spiritual advice before we get into this and before we get the card from Postcard from Spirit. And Spirit gives me two <laughs> New Moon and Leo shine. Shine. Shine with all your splendor, my friends. Don't hold it back. That's why the universe put you here, so you could shine. And you could spread your love and your radiant freaking energy to other people. Shine on. There are times where, you know, the power of, and this is how it is, okay, but the power of prayer is very important, regardless of how we interpret what prayer is. For some of us, like I said, it's this positive vibes or these positive intentions going towards someone that we ask these things. But, you know, depending on where it is, it is prayer. And the other one is step into your power. This is your connection with the divine. This is your conversations with the divine. So, shine forth, my friends. That's the funny. Shine forth. Keep it coming. I think a lot of you, what I heard is you may have suffered a lot of hardships. You, may, it's been a long time clatter, climbing this ladder interesting clatter clatter as well but climbing this ladder I'll read that in a second but it's a Pegasus with love with love we can lift extraordinarily heavy things right um, you know I, I just want to share something before I get into this as well I was out today and I heard someone talking about exercise that you know 
hadn't had it not been for exercise and like getting fresh air during hard times of her life you know she doesn't think she would have got through these things so well and I was like amen to that because these are the things that can help us center us and ground us and kind of bring us back to wholeness and especially if you are kind of like suffering through some mental health stuff right now get outside even for a few minutes a day open your window get that fresh air and what I also heard is smudge your house get some sage um, if you feel like, you know, the energy needs to be a little bit dark or less dark, smudge, you know, with the intention, open the window so the stuff is going to go out, but smudge with the intention that, uh, you know, we're only going to keep the things that are authentic to us and our being in our households and come with love and light and are here for our highest good, right? And you you may have to do this a lot, but spiritual cleansing is going to be important. Because there could be things, too, where someone, someone's trying to shade you because they can't handle your spiritual presence or your essence. So, it says, Dearest you, we have a secret for you. The more you think you know, the less you actually do. So if you're willing to keep an open mind, you will avoid the narrow confines of the know-it-all and open up to the unlimited potential that can be discovered only by the curious optimist. Curiosity allows you to discover new things, see the world from a different perspective, and find answers to questions you might not even know you have. Right now, whatever is going on, it's important to know that you are not aware of all the aspects of it. You need to see to make an informed choice. You might be projecting a story that isn't totally true. That's it. So, moving forward, your manager could be, I don't know, or that's interesting, as you keep your mind and heart open to new experiences and enrich your existence overall. All of us over here want you to be all you can be. We are cheering for you, can you hear us? And what I just heard is, you know, you don't want to be so stubborn, okay, sorry, here's the voice, but set in your ways and stubborn and resisting change that when something, you know, either is presented to you or that when um, you know you're going down the wrong path that you you gonna keep going because there's this power of our feeling of we don't want to be wrong or defeated so we're gonna keep going this path because keep 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 but we get we keep fighting and this is ourselves potentially even and what they're saying is we need to get to a point where we loosen up the reins, we give in a little bit, and because this is not stepping into our power, if we resist this change, something could be coming to us, or it's time, right, what they said is to open up, some of us it's to let love in, it's to let the light in, and again, if you felt a lot of heavy fucking energy and darkness, it's really going to be important to let this light in, and that to know as well, if you are being spiritually attacked, this is where this sage and this cleanse is going to remove it, as well as have a salt bath, um, get in there and ask spirit to help drain away any of the negative um, impact that it has had on you mentally, physically, bodily, spiritually. And <clears throat> what I heard is for some of you, this is not all, but for some of you, it's because it binds its power, right? right? It stops it and it may ha it'll just force to leave. Others of you, it's just stuff that we pick up because we're so friggin' open and we talk to people, right? And potentially even physical touch. When you go from place to place to place, you are meant to shine, like I said. So you're meant to spread this Christ consciousness, healing energy. You are a walking portal, my friends, right? Especially what I heard is if you do Reiki, for some of you, you really want to think about that. And it's that energy and connection to the divine and you are a universal portal. They're saying you are a universal portal. So we're just going to to go with that. But the bottom of the deck they want me to show you as well. And it is this angel. Celebrate life. Because every day we wake up is a chance to begin brand new and to get outside and to breathe the fresh air and to see the sun. And you know, even in the shittiest weathers, there'll be things that we get to have memories. We get to, you know, experience this phenomenon. You know, we get, we woke up after it. It's life's a gift. Celebrate it. Dear you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings, because today is leap time. Realize that no matter what, you will not, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost, or hurt yourself in any way on this one. 
even if it may feel like you are in free fall, we are here for you and you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition to something new. All the elements are in a place and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit has got that covered. I'm taking the leap to keep itself. Yeah, it's taking the leap itself. That's the point. We love your courage. Embrace it. That's beautiful energy. And I want to get a little tarot wisdom here. We have, okay, we have the sun in reverse with the queen of rings. And it just flipped over because it's like you can't, nobody can dull your shine. This is, I also think we're going through like a Virgo moon. So that's Virgo could be right now. The sun's not, right? The sun's not going to dull that moon. We have the Ace of Cups, the Page of Wands, Five of Wands. There's a new direction with this moon. That's funny. That's come out. And we also have the Lovers. So there could also be like times with a new relationship as well. There could also be, I feel like, um, with this Page of Wands, somebody wants to come in with something, action that's going to change things and shake things up a bit. And it really could be as well, like that this lover's falling on the moon and the love, stuff that's hidden from you. Could also be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn as well. But somebody, I feel like this could even be you, okay? But this is somebody coming into your life, as they said is the fool someone coming into your um like that this is not for everyone but whoever this is for that knows what they've done um knows who they've been and they're not proud of it they're a little ashamed of it and they're wanting to come forward and make amends and they seek your approval okay so that's that's interesting where this is coming to stay in your power as well because if you do have somebody coming through and saying this, these, these words better freaking match their actions, right? This is a time for your growth, right? Your self-love, your self-care. So we want to make sure that we're standing fully in our power and that, again, nothing's going to dull or shine. If we feel we're really doing great and someone comes around us that we know just drains the freaking lifeblood out of us, maybe we're too busy right now to hang out with that person, you know, like... Or armor up, shield up, get your crystals on, set your intentions, and, you know, really set intentions that spirit, hey, nothing can linger from this person. No energy is allowed to remain with me. And this is where, too, if you're around particularly difficult people or situations or energy, um, and you are very open, like spiritually, spirit is also saying, you know, you need to have that bath so that you can just even ask that any of that energy can go like i mean i want to just say too like shit they're giving me a, a situation like you could walk through around value village and people you're first off you're picking up people right or the store you're picking up energies of people who might look at you funny or glance at you especially if you are exuding this shiny energy my friends so getting a massage by yourself by a partner by a professional really taking care to love yourself um because you deserve it and we also have here they're saying lymphatic system connecting with fire so that's also like maybe wanting to have a bonfire if you have a wood fire clear your energy field as well may want to be like a burn ceremony having this fire burning all the shit that you're ready to release and start anew with and what is that full energy for you what is the leap what is the leap you want to take? Because if that has nothing to do with romantic life, then it's some energy that you are ready to embark on, something that's really, truly going to fill your heart and fill your soul and just be really, really, what I heard is worthy of your presence. And you are really going to shine and bloom from this situation and this experience as well. Step into your power. Step into your power, my friend. Step into your greatness. I love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.